the life of author Delisha, Delisha Vlogs, and Delisha's Beauty. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, please feel free to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to so be notified every time there is a new upload. And today, today, girl, we are going to be doing a Elf and Shop Miss A Liquid Eyeshadow Review. So if that sounds like something you will find interesting, stay tuned. Okay, the first one that I'm going to be starting off with, y'all, is this Liquid Gold by elf this is what it looks like these are very 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 affordable and as you notice the liquid cosmetics are definitely making a pop they are coming around in the beauty community we have the liquid blushes the liquid highlighters <laughs> liquid bronzers and liquid eyeshadows you guys so we're gonna go ahead and open this one up so I can show y'all. It looks like it's in a lip gloss type of tube. And uh, this is what it looks like. And we're going to go ahead and just swatch it on the back of my head and see what it do, y'all. Ooh, that is so pretty. Y'all see that? It went on fairly smooth. And as you see, it is very pigmented. Let's move on to the next color. Let's see what it says the name of this one is brushed copper so this is what it looks like you could purchase these from your local drug stores uh, Target Walmart or anywhere that sells cosmetics y'all y'all know elf is definitely not an expensive brand so you can get your hands on it anywhere even in the Dollar Tree they have some elf products so we swatched that one and this is what it looks like, you guys. It went on fairly smooth. And as you see, it's pigmented and not patchy. It's not as pigmented as that gold one, but but y'all see it. Y'all see that glow. We're going to move on to the next e.l.f. product, y'all. Let's see what's the name of this one. This one is Rose Glow. this color right here you guys y'all these are so pretty it seems like you can use these almost like highlighters because of that metallic feel and look that it has to these y'all next we're going to move on to a couple of these shop miss a um what are they called glow um liquid eyeshadows y'all this one right here is seems like the name is off a little bit y'all because I like to try to give y'all the names all I can see is the numbers on this one but we're gonna move on and I'm gonna show y'all this one right here very beautiful like metallic pink um, color Ooh, very very creamy and very very pigmented y'all so pretty oh my god this one is really really pigmented and creamy it went on very smooth on my skin let's see if i can see the name of this one now i can see this one it says heat look at that applicator you guys it's very beautiful like a went on very smooth y'all definitely creamy it's like a burgundy color it's really really pretty it's very dark y'all y'all these pigments is on point let's see what this one says this one says fume I don't know why I couldn't see what the other one was saying this one says fume let's put it right here ooh Y'all, I'm loving that color. So pretty. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to go and shop Miss A and look that number up and see what that other color is, you guys. Now this one right here says wave. It's like a purple color. Ooh. Y'all know your girl is a sucker for purple. 
purples, reds, and pinks come on over here. This is my favorite colors, y'all. Y'all see that right there? Very, very, very pretty. Now, let's go ahead and just grab one of these colors. This is the e.l.f. one um, liquid gold. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my eyes so y'all can see a little bit how the application is. And it barely seems like maybe Holly anything is on my applicator so let's see I'm trying to get something to come off I can see a little bit of pigment right there and let's try to blend it I only put it on the corner of my eye y'all I didn't put it like all the way across save space for another color okay this is what it looks like blended out onto the eye. It's very pretty. It didn't come off as pigmented as I thought it would, but it's doing a little something something, y'all. Might be because enough didn't come off on that applicator. Now let's try another one of these elf um, colors on the other side that I didn't put any on. This one is the brushed copper. So let's try this color. If I can get enough on this applicator to come off. Y'all, these will seem to dry out very quickly if you don't use them um, within a certain amount of time. They can become very drying if you don't use them when you get them. Like if you let them sit it'll be hard for you to actually get that color out of that applicator so let's try to blend it in some and that's pretty much how it looks on my eye right there so it easily blends and as you see it's not as pigmented but you do see that color payoff right there probably buildable depending on how much you can get on your applicator um, once you purchase it or whatever but like I said you definitely will want to use these as soon as you get them and not let them sit because if they become very drying it'll be hard for you to get anything out so let's move on to fume and let's try fume on this side right here Close my eye and put a little up here. And you could play with these. You could actually layer them over um, just regular eyeshadows, or you can wear them as is, or you can put these on and then put eyeshadow over them. But these definitely will get them give them give it more of a pop because of that metallic um, look that it has. Now these are more wetter than the Elf ones. And I feel like they are more pigmented and it seems like they spread out over the eye a lot um, better when it comes to your application and spreading it out into like another color. You know, but you do have to work kind of kind of quick because the colors will dry out fairly quickly if you just let it sit on the eyelid. Now let's try Wave. And I'm just going to put Wave kind of like right here. Wave is looks very pigmented on the eye. So let's just spread it out a little bit. Very pigmented. And it blends pretty quickly, y'all. Especially if you don't have want to have to worry about um fallout and stuff like that. These liquid eyeshadows are good for that no fallout you see that wave it's very very pigmented you guys now my overall review is if you want a budget you can get either one of these you can get like the elf ones or the shop mist a ones the elf ones are lightly pigmented um they're both wet when you put them on the eye it seems like the shop mist a ones are easier to spread um, over your eyes compared to the elf ones seem like the more you blend it in the lighter the color becomes versus as pigmented as you would want it to be but you can um, 
put more you know you can put more and build it up but you definitely want to use these as soon as you get them because if they ever dry out you will have a hard time using them or getting them to mix or spread in with any other eyeshadows that you may have i would say the shop miss a ones you definitely get more in your tube they're definitely more pigmented but they both are very good deals i will give the shop miss a ones a five out of five and I will give the Elf ones a four out of five stars. And that's what I gotta say with my overall review on those liquid eyeshadows. Thanks for watching. Like, love, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know notified every time there is a new upload. Look in that description. Follow those other accounts. Give your girl a likey like because it don't cost you nothing. Share if you care. Hit up them comments, y'all, because I do be commenting back. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.